Jack and the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and I want to show you today a new kit that we have a very limited edition, limited release kit from Stamperia. Um, I just did a live video showing you guys some great new 49er market, and I told you don't go anywhere, hang around. So I'm going to kind of wait just for a few seconds for a couple more people to, to jump on here. Um, but what I have for you, it's from Stamperia. It's a very limited release um, value kit. And um, you get some great product. You get some fun stuff to play around with to kind of stretch your creativity a little bit there. Um, but the kit was misshipped to me. Okay. And, and so I kind of looked at my schedule. Can I do a class with it? And I've got other things I want to do classes with, and I don't even have time for that, especially with graduation, baseball, things like that. I don't want to hold on to these forever because then that's less money. I've got to buy you guys new stuff. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to show these in a live video. They're going to be available for this weekend only. And then after that, they go back on the UPS truck and they get sent back. So snag this deal. I only have nine kits. Okay, that's it nine of them all right so we're going to check these kits out and again if you want one grab it now because they are going back they're being returned i'm not keeping them okay so if you love stamperia if you love vintage if you love alice in wonderland you are going to love this kit all right here we go. So first of all, it's got this great little pad in there. And I know I said if you love Alice in Wonderland, um, but you would not have to love Alice in Wonderland to love this kit because, my gosh. So apparently, in the UK, they have the strongest bags ever. All right. Um, Muscle this. Can you hear that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. All right. So again, said if you love vintage, because even if you don't love Alice in Wonderland, check out these prints. So this is an eight by eight pad. All right. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Here's the next page. These are um, their backgrounds. So they do have a little tear spot right there. I'm just showing that because it, it's flipping open like a book, which is great. Just great little teapots. So, so far we are on what, sheet number four and nothing too overly Alice yet. When we get to some of the ephemera and things like that, oh, I will, I will tell you how much the kit is, Stacy. but I want to show you how much you get in the kit first. I'm building suspense. I'm building suspense. So you fall in love with it. I love that color purple. That's really pretty. Again, great vintage prints so far. See how pretty? So this looks like the chest board, but would not have to be that. Little bitty hearts, little bitty diamonds. So these are look like your, your suit of playing cards. Would not have to be. Now this one here does say through the looking glass. And what Alice found there. But again, this is just a great background. So pretty. I love this print. Love the hearts. Again, wouldn't have to be, but this is looking like your playing card decks. So fun. This paper is awesome. I agree, Sarah. This was really hard for me because I was just like, okay, um, there's some fun stuff that I can do with this. It, they got misshipped though. Um, I ordered something different. And so of course I said I could send them back, but I just, I really, my rep was like, well, here's something you could do with it. I'm like, oh, I could, I don't know when though. All right. So now look at the rub on set. So again, going through this first set of rub ons. Yes, that is very Alice, but if you use that just on a cute little card, it looks like a little girl. Vintage, 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 vintage. So again, nothing is screaming Alice, but if you are an Alice in Wonderland fan, 
this is definitely Alice if you look at it in that regard. So again, I'm just showing you it could definitely have two different uses. So paper so far, pack a rub on so far. Rub on set number two coming up right here. So we've got these fun little playing cards, little chess set, checkmate. Okay, then there's the little white rabbit. So now we're getting a little bit more Alice-y on this one. But still, if you did not want this to be Alice in Wonderland, you've got so many other possibilities with this rub-on set. So there's rub-on set number two. Next, we've got a pack of ephemera here. So this ephemera pack uh, doesn't show you what all it's in there. Ooh, it even says they're adhesive. That's nice. All right, let's open this one up. So let's just hope that someone does want a kit um, because I can't sell, send them back all torn up. But for one of my friends, you're going to get a kit that's been opened, okay? Hopefully, if I can get it. All right. Oh, and they're getting a sneak peek of some of the other stuff up there while I'm fighting this thing. I'm hoping the rain's holding off. Remember, we are closing tonight at 5. Um, so for those of you that aren't local, our two rival teams, so from town to town, Jasper to Honeyburg. I can open your kit. Ha ha. Love it. Um, all right, we have rival two towns really close, Honeyburg and Jasper. The store, of course, is in Jasper. I actually live in Honeyburg, though. And so our team's rivalry goes back, you know, probably since the dawn of time. Um, and so tonight, our baseball teams play each other. And we do have really good baseball teams. Um, and if you remember a couple years ago when we won state, Jasper won state that year as well, which was just awesome for our county. And I love my county. I love my, I love the whole county, the community. But of course, when, whenever you play the, the town next, next door, it's, it's a fun rival night. Um, and so we're hoping the rain stays away so we can get our game in tonight. And tonight is also the, we do a memorial game for my, my niece that died. Um, God, has it been five years? I think it's been five years now. Um, she died at 17 of a heart attack. She had a heart condition and, um, some other things came up, but anyway, so tonight is her memorial game and we use this game to raise money for her scholarship that we, that we do. So I'm really hoping that, um, the rain stays away. All right. How stinking cute are these? How cute are they? Now they say adhesive paper cutouts, but I'm without getting my finger really in here. I'm not for sure if they have adhesive on them, friends. So you play around with them. Um, you may have to glue them yourself. And keep in mind too, sometimes with the adhesive, I still like to add a little bit of my own as well too. And I don't want to booger them up. But so look at all these fun little, so definitely, you know, and again, would not have to be an Alice in Wonderland cat. Okay, the Mad Hatter is totally Alice in Wonderland, but look how stinking cute he is. Oh, I love it. So, uh, such a fun kit. So fun. Queen Alice and the little door. All kinds of little toadstools in here. Ivy, little drink me, playing cards. Lots and lots of fun. Look at these guys. Lots of fun bits and pieces. So that is your ephemera set. You're also going to get a pack of cord. Okay, so fun cord in there. You're going to get a pack, or not a pack, you're going to get packaging here. You're going to get a texture impressions. All right, so this you can use with your, um, with your resin. You can, so you can do little molds. You can use um, like your quick dry paper stuff. You friends can even put, um, you should be able, I'm just trying to think that'd be too hot or not. I know in my uh, silicon molds, I can put hot glue. Not for sure about hot glue in here because these are plastic. But there's all kinds of fun stuff that you can do with these guys to create fun little texture molds to add to your mini books, your scrapbook pages, your home decor pieces, your, you know, mixed media, your junk journals, all kinds of fun little stuff here. Then you've got some mixed media cream paste, some art paste here. Okay. And it's flexible, apply with the spatula. So this is what you're gonna like use through a stencil, things like that. So like a modeling paste, texture paste, they call it a cream paste. 
And then we've got more die cuts here. So this one here, they are called Clear Charms die cuts. Clear Charm die cuts. Let's look at this one. There's a really fun one. That, friends, in the background, that's not packaging. That is a, that's one of your big old embellishments in here. So stinking cool. And of course, it's super sticky. Because once we get it through the staple, let's go ahead and seal it up too. Oh my gosh, they just keep coming out. How many are in there? Glory be. Doesn't say, oh, 57. That looks like way more than 57 to me. That's a lot though. All right, so these guys here, they have a very plasticky feel to them. Who are you? Eat me. Queen Alice. See that one. Is that not cool? That would be so cool just on the front of a little mini album. It's got some holes in the top here. So you could add extra holes, put it down with some brads, do some stitching around it. Some great fun little frames in here. These feel so fun. We are all mad here. Oh, happy unbirthday to you. That would just be a fun little pick-me-up card. I think that was my favorite part of um, Alice in Wonderland when I was little, the, the unbirthday. Oh, dear, I shall be late. There's a little keyhole, teapots, all kinds of fun little bits and pieces in here as well. All right, price on your kit. Made you wait long enough. So you get all this, the price on the kits is 45. So all this for 45. And again, like I said, um, it's this weekend and that's it because I'm sending them back on Monday. I've got to get them back in the mail. They only give me so long with my return tags and, and all that good stuff. But I thought, well, you know what? It was a value bundle. Okay, so you the retail value is more, so it is a value bundle. Um, so I'm just gonna pass it along to you guys, see what you thought. If you wanted them, you know, great, take advantage of it. It's not something I'm stocking, they are going back. But in case you just love Alice in Wonderland and you want a good deal on some fun stuff, then this is your opportunity right here. Because, like I said, I was sending them back, um, but. I actually had somebody come in today and they were looking for Alice in Wonderland stuff and wanted more than what I had in the store. And I'm like, well, let me show you this. I'm supposed to send them back, but I'm like, you know what? I should just offer them to all you guys. You know, if I'm going to send them back, um, you know, see what you guys thought. So perfect. Stacy, I've got you for a kit. Um, Yes, you can definitely pay for whenever you come in, Debbie. That's not a problem. I just have to tell my rep, hey, because I already have my return labels and everything. All I have to do is just say, hey, I'm not sending back my 10 because um, I sold that one. I'm sending back this money. So, Stacy, I've got one out for you. This is how they are going to be a little package, little shrink wrap here. I've got one for Stacy. I've got one for Diane. And I've got one for Miss Debbie. So, perfect, ladies. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so have fun with them. Um, like I said, just the paper, the fun stuff in them. I think they're, they, they are a neat little kit. Um, and I contemplated, you know, like I said, doing something with them. But I know me. And you guys know I've been doing my From the Vault series because I have a whole back room. Thank you, Debbie. Pulling you one out too. I have, um, yes, you did miss the price. They are 45 Miss Stephanie. 45 for for the kits. Um, I have a whole back room of things I want to do stuff with, and I'm sure that you guys are just the same. You have a whole craft room of things you want to do things with. Well, I have a craft room and a store <laughs> full of things I want to teach and I want to do. And you know what? I'm going to be, um, honest today in between putting stuff out, you know, today I worked on and off on just balancing my checkbook. So that is, that's the, the, the unfun part of, of the, this, this sexy part of being a store owner let me tell you so so all right well perfect so if you are tuning in late um jump on once this goes live and check out our little alice in wonderland bundle deal from stamperia this weekend only they are going back on monday so today what is today what's the day's date is it like the 8th the 9th the 10th some what is it 12th Thanks, Leslie. 
I don't even know what day it is. So today is the 12th. So for those of you who are tuning in, maybe watching this on YouTube, that's why I'm giving you the date. So in case you're watching this on the replay, you know, six months from now, you're like, oh, I want a kit. So this is May 12th, 2023. Um, and so they will be going back on 13, 14, May 15th. 2023 um or maybe 16th because I, I may not be here on so there you go you may have got an extra day out of me okay ah uh, so oh thanks debbie i know you guys do i know i know you guys do um i'll be honest you know i've told you guys this for years um i i think you know during the times when when the store there's probably been times when the store should have closed um but i didn't want to let people down so you know i do appreciate all you guys and where we all go i mean i enjoy you probably just as much as you guys enjoy the store let's be honest um so i would miss everybody so I mean, who would who would listen to my ramblings and listen to my stories? And I've got a captive audience right here of 10. But still, you're captive. And I can talk about, you know, the baseball game tonight. So who would I do that to? Because I think Leslie gets tired of, you know, hearing me talk all day sometimes. So I pay her to listen to me. It's fine. So, all right, everybody. So huh, check out the kit. Let me know if you would like one. And I will get one pulled just for you. But they will be going back. Monday, Tuesday. So, all right, everybody, you guys have an amazing weekend. We are open. Uh, remember, we're closing tonight at 5. Um, we're open tomorrow, which is Saturday from 10 to 3, closed on Sunday. And happy Mother's Day to all you amazing women out there, the moms and non moms as well, because you know what? You know, even if you don't have kids, you are like a mom to somebody. We all have that. I know my, uh, my Aunt Janet. She is like a mom to me. She was who I went to when I couldn't stand my mom. And my mom was just having some moments when she was an absolute crazy woman. And, you know, so she has always been like a mom to me. And she doesn't have her own kids. Um, so I know I'm like a daughter to her. So I always say happy Mother's Day. And I don't mean it to offend anyone who is not a mom. Um, because all of us amazing women, you know, we're like, a, you're like a mom to somebody out there. So even if you don't have your own kids by blood, so, and your fur moms too. So hopefully if you are just a, you know, a fur mom, hopefully your significant other gets you something, um, from your fur babies, because trust me, sometimes they can be almost as demanding as, as your, as your two-legged, um, children are. I get that. Okay. All right, everybody. So have a great weekend. Um, well, hopefully we'll be busy in here tomorrow. Oh, if you are around tomorrow, I'm going to post about it, but just a little teaser alert. We have a new Saturday employee and, um, you had a mom or you wouldn't be here. This is true. Exactly right. So, um, but we have a fun new worker coming back to work tomorrow, and that is Miss Terry. So you're going to see Miss Terry back in here one to two Saturdays per month, um, at least through the summer. Hopefully, hopefully we can keep her on once school is back in session too. So I'm super excited about that. So Terry is working with me tomorrow. I've got my Glimmer class. She's going to come in and it's going to be loads of fun. Um, cannot wait to hang out with her tomorrow. Um, so if you're in the area, stop in, tell Terry, welcome back. Um, and then she will be here I think not next Saturday, but then the Saturday after that as well, too. So that's her two Saturdays for May. So super excited to have her. So, all right. Well, I think I think that is it for me. Um, you guys, like I keep telling you, have a great weekend, weekend, and I will talk to you next week. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.